Friends, welcome back to our channel, Learn with Gigs. In this video, I will discuss with you another scenario-based question which was recently asked in the Power Bay interview. This question was shared to me by one of my connections on LinkedIn. So I thought of making a video on this because it can be easily asked in your interviews too. So let's start the video and before that, if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos because you will not find the videos like this anywhere else on YouTube. Plus, you can also follow me on Instagram. The page name is Learn with Gigs, and there you will find regular job updates plus short videos on data analytics. So now let's discuss the scenario. So you can see on the screen, uh, I have a product column, okay, and I have different products: iPhone 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So basically, interviewer gave this particular column, okay, product column, and the question was, let me show you on the Excel sheet. So this is the product column. The question was, how will you create this? count column basically this count column which will show the result like this 2 1 2 3 3 1 3 1 so how, how this column can be generated from this particular column how it is being achieved basically you can see the entry of iPhone 11 is two times so that's why two here it is present in front of iPhone 11 similarly iPhone 12 is present only once in this entire column right only once iPhone 12 is present so that's why count is showing as one now iPhone 13 you can see it is twice here and once here so overall total iPhone 13 is three times present so that's why in front of iPhone 13 count is three so wherever iPhone 13 is there you will find count as three okay I hope you understood the problem how to create this count column so first of all think about the solution as of now it might be looking very difficult for you but when you will see the solution it is quite easy okay but only when you know about this concept then only you will be able to answer this question okay now let's see how we can create this calculated column now let me go back to the power bi desktop and create a calculated column here i will name it as count okay count equal to so first of all i will make use of calculate our favorite dax function that is calculate because this is the main function which will give this result under the calculate function the expression what should be the expression so basically we we have to count the entries of product in that particular product column right so count of count of this product column okay count of the product column now what should be the filter part of this calculate function so here is the main trick here you have to make use of all except function okay all except function what does it do it basically ignores all the filter context except a particular column which you will define under its argument so here we will make use of sample table our table name then the column name that is product column because we need to make use of this product column only as an accept part because i want the filter context of this product column i and i want the other filter context to be removed now let us see what does the result comes out and then i will explain you which is very very important how how is it happening and that's where you will understand the concept of all accept function and that's why this question was asked because the interviewer wanted to know whether you know this concept of all accept or not okay so let us see what does the result comes out to be now you can clearly see here our count column is generated and it is showing the desired result we wanted two one two three three one three one okay this is what we wanted right as you can see here this is the result that we wanted so we have got the result but you must be wondering how is it happening how 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 internally is this being calculated because that's the main point that that is what you should know okay so let me go back to the excel sheet again so you know how a calculate function works right calculate function basically uh, in the second part which is this part the filter part is executed first and then on top of that this particular calculation or expression is being performed okay this is how in general calculate function works so basically first the filter part will work how is this filter part is working now this particular part for the first entry for example iPhone 11 is there okay so this filter part all except what it will filter basically it will go to every record over here and it will compare with iPhone 11 so here iPhone 11 is present so what it will do it will mark this as one entry of iPhone 11 similarly it will check here it will scan the complete table it will check here whether iPhone 11 is present it is not present so leave it here it is present yes so it will mark here not here it is not here it is not here it is not and here it is not so in the complete column it founded two entries of iPhone 11 by scanning the complete table and picking out the 
iPhone 11 part. Now these two are found. Now calculate function, the count part will come. Now count will come here and count these two entries. And that's why for the count of iPhone 11, we are getting count as two. Similarly, for iPhone 12 only, it will work. It will take out, it will scan the table and check its entry and calculate it. I hope it is clear to you now. So please do like this video and I hope you also will be able to tell the answer of this question if anything similar to this is asked in your interviews too. Thanks for watching the complete video and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.